What's up guys? Welcome back to another drawing video. Today, I'll be drawing Wolverine. So let's get right into it, bub. Here we go. Let's get right into the pencils. Um, so once again, if you haven't seen my other videos, which you should definitely go check out. I use a Stadler pencil. Um, that's what I've been using for a while now. And I really like it because, first of all, it's dark enough to where I can see it. And it's easy to use. and um, But it's also easy enough to erase. And as you can see right now, I'm kind of struggling to where I'm even like hesitating right now. Which, that will come into play in a minute. Um, so yeah, now I'm going in with inks. F for the first time in this video. In this video. Not for the first time ever, but in this video. And you'll see why I say the first time. It, just here in a second. So yeah. Um, I'll just go quiet for a minute. And I will let this play out. So let's see. This doesn't look very good. So let's scratch that and do it again. Let's get right into it. Okay, so off camera I went back and repenciled it. And now I'm inking for the second time. See, I told you that would come into play. Um But yeah, so the first one I just really wasn't feeling it. I had I hadn't I haven't drawn all day. So I di I didn't even give myself some warm up gesture drawings or anything. So if this second one also turns out to be uh, terrible, um, it's probably because I didn't take the right warm up, you know, precautions. I wouldn't really say precautions, but I didn't warm up. So. That's the reason why it was stiff in the last one and everything was just going wrong. But this one so far is going pretty well. So, yeah. Um, the reason I decided to draw Wolverine is, first of all, because Wolverine is one of my favorite characters. He has been for the longest time. I've I've always pretty much liked Wolverine. He was one of the first superheroes that I knew. I'm pretty sure that he was one of the first sip superheroes that we all really knew. So that that's why I decided to draw him today. But also, just recently, I feel like I've been in a, in a kind of phase where I've been wanting to draw the dark, brooding type of characters. So, like, in my free time off-camera, I have a sketchbook that's probably filled with, like, Batman and Wolverine. Especially Wolverine. Not so much Batman, but Wolverine, for me, is just so fun to draw. I have no idea why, but he is just super fun to draw. So, yeah. Speaking of the drawing part of it... Here's the part of the video where I give my top favorite artist to ever draw Wolverine. So, of course, I gotta start off with, um, you know, the greats. At least to me. My, my greats. Uh, Jim Lee. Because he's Jim Lee, so, yeah. Barry Windsor Smith. I really just think, I just really like the style that Barry Windsor Smith brought. And plus, I'm pretty sure he was the one who used, uh, he, he did Weapon X. Yeah, 
I'm pretty sure he did Weapon X with Wolverine in it, and I really loved his drawings for those. I also like Frank Miller because I I just really like Frank Miller's stuff. I mean, it, the, his Wolverine run was before The Dark Knight Returns, which was my probably... I haven't ever read it, but I'd say if I did read it, I'm pretty sure it would be my favorite comic book of all time. But just his art style, I really I like how unique it is. And I almost tried to use that in this. I used kind of more like a blocky. I wouldn't really call it blocky, but that Frank Miller-esque esque, um, style. I think so, at least. But yeah, so Frank Miller, because he's amazing. John Byrne, um, because I, he did the brown suit Wolverine. That kind of sounds dumb that I like his art because he did my favorite suit of Wolverine. But no, I like him because of his art. Not because of the suit that he put on Wolverine. But I like him because of his art. Um... So, yeah, that's nice. Uh, but I'd have to say any other ones would probably be... Um, let's see. I got to pick at my brain. Um, uh, Mark Silvestri, that's what it was. Mark Silvestri, first of all, a huge influence. I, I really like his work. Um, I think... I mainly found out about him because, as I've probably mentioned on the channel before, I'm a huge David Finch fan. I even have a video in store where I'm going to draw a character that I really like. But I'm going to draw it in the style of David Finch, so be looking out for that episode. But yeah, so Mark Silvestri, I think, is one of the greats. Probably... Up, uh, mm. I don't know what to say. I don't want. I don't think he's the best, best, but he's also he's he's up there. Okay, he's up there. So yeah. And I think, well, of course, David Finch. Whenever I don't know if he's ever ever worked on a comic book of Wolverine, but I've seen him draw Wolverine before. So I like how he draws Wolverine because. I love everything that David Finch does, but I also like Jay Lee's run on X-Men. I really like that. I like his style. So, yeah. Right now, you can see me going in with the shadowing, and I will start cross-hatching in a minute, but right now, I'm just getting in the basic uh, shadows. So, yeah. Now, I'm going to go quiet for a minute and enjoy me drawing. Okay, so now I'm finishing up my shadows here. I'll be starting hatching and cross-hatching in a minute. Um, another reason why I'm drawing Wolverine is because I think that that's one of the characters that I want to draw if I ever make it into comics. Um, Wolverine has always been somebody that I've wanted to draw in a professional comic book or even just a cover for Wolverine I mean that'd be amazing but yeah so 
if any editors find my channel, hit me up in a couple years, and I'll I'd be down to. <laughs> I'd be down to draw some Wolverine comics. But yeah. So right now I'm going in and doing my hatching lines or my rendering, I guess you could say. I'm mainly just doing cross hatching. Recently I've been doing a lot of studies from David Finch's YouTube channel, who you should definitely go check out, because he has an amazing YouTube channel. It's so helpful to us artists, and being able to learn from one of the greats is mind-blowing, and so yeah, I'm, I'm thankful that he's on YouTube, because half of the stuff that I know now I would not know if it weren't for his YouTube channel. So, yes, if David Finch ever sees this, thank you, man. I mean, it's it's great. But recently I've been learning a, a lot of tips and tricks. I've been getting a lot of tips and tricks from his YouTube channel. And another phenomenal artist on YouTube, Dr. Rock Art, um... I watched his how to render video. That was helpful. And plus, I, I study their artwork so much, so I think it influences me. But now I'm signing it. Here we go. There we go. And I fixed it. Off camera, I used a little bit of whiteout, mainly on the head. And also, I fixed his blade. Because I just thought it didn't really look quite right whenever I first drew it. But yeah, I'm really happy how I turned this drawing around. It started out like terribly and ended up looking pretty good. So yeah, if y'all like this video, please um, do like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.